The Bulls are back after a hard-hitting and explosive road win in Massachusetts. South Florida remains unbeaten and returns to the top 25. Here he goes, Jordan Cronkright. He is now set a USF single game rushing record. Ranked for the first time this year, the Bulls have shown that they have not lost a step since losing 13 starters at the end of last season. They've grown stronger. They stepped up to answer the challenge motivated to exceed expectations and face adversity head on. Intercepted, Nico Sautel. McCants into the open field. Though the preseason rankings snapped USF's program record run of 20 straight weeks in the top 25, Charlie Strong and company wasted no time in correcting that error, proving themselves week after week after week. That's what bulls do, and they do it as a stampede. Here comes Ford, untouched into the end zone. Where does strength come from? The Bulls knock off a Power 5 team in a city, for the second consecutive Your home? Or is it where you are going? And this is going for a touchdown. Six for the Bulls. All the work and effort that brought you here to the moments that define you. Strength isn't about what you can do. It's about what can be accomplished as a team. Family pushing each other toward greatness to define their own legacy for a new era on the Bay. This is Bulls Country. Bull Strong inside USF football. Two claps in the rim, claps, two claps in the rim, claps. Woo! We got a lot of speed. A lot of speed comes out of Florida. Extremely fast. We can all play with anybody in this country. With anybody in the country. We're hungry. We have a chip on our shoulder. Uh, we continue to go out there and fight each and every day. Hey, what's wrong with being the underdog? No matter what it takes, we, we just gonna try to win. That's what we're gonna come out there and do and just show the world. You can run with anybody. So now it's just a start, but we want to keep it going. It's time to you know put the lights on and, and start the show. Bull Strong Inside USF Football is presented by Coca-Cola. Hooters. Tampa General Hospital. USF Health. Florida Lottery. Wendy's. To be able to come uh, to work at a college campus every day and feel the energy, and specifically with our student athlete population, uh, knowing what they go through um, on a day-to-day -day basis. For me, it's the reason why I get out of bed every day. It's the reason why I continue to work in collegiate athletics, because they are putting in a tremendous amount of time and effort um, into their studies on the academic side, into their sport, obviously, and they have to balance that time. We want to see them grow. We want to see them uh, matriculate through this university, earn that degree, and become productive citizens, whether they continue to play their sport or, or otherwise. This segment of Bull Strong Inside USF Football is presented by Tampa General Hospital.
okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to box stroke. And we're not gonna use scouts, we're gonna go good on good. So the ones will go against the twos, the twos will- At the end of the day, you want these men and both, both men and women in different sports uh, to have a degree, to, to get educated, to have an opportunity to have a better life. So education is important. Uh, sports are important too, but not nearly as much as the education aspect of it. And we're not only preparing them and uh, supporting them while they're student athletes here, on the field, off the field, but we're always got an eye on what's after sport because it will come to an end, even for the best and the brightest of our student athletes, it will come to an end and they, uh, is, we take that very seriously in taking all, all the time and effort we possibly can to prepare them for life after sports so they can be productive citizens um, after they're done with us. I mean, when Coach Strong says academics is important, it means like they're really important. He wants us to make sure we focus on academics first and then we can focus on football. He wants us to have the best grades because he's the one who made the standard of sitting in front of the class and talking to the teacher, making sure you introduce yourself. If they're falling off, he'll take you out of football, make sure you get your grades up before you can even get back. So his philosophy is helping us like not only as a football player, but as a, as a man growing up to face future obstacles. We want to win as much as anybody, but you know, we want to win in the classroom, we want to win in the community, um, and uh, it's, you know, it's very gratifying to, to see them meet that goal. That's the, you know, that's the cherry on top for all of us, uh, is to see them go through um, this process at, at this institution. Uh, to see what they're able to accomplish off the field in the classroom and, then, and to, to wear that cap and gown and move on to bigger and better things. At USF, we're very fortunate to have a lot of fantastic coaches, not just in Coach Strong with football, but Coach, obviously his reputation precedes himself here, but he's brought his experience, his staff has brought uh, a bevy of experience here and what he stands for, what the program stands for with him at the helm, his support of academic student athlete development. He cares about his student athletes. He's here to develop young men as many of our coaches are, as all of our coaches are. I mean, Coach Strong really genuinely cares about these kids. He genuinely wants them to be better people more than he wants them to be better football players. He spends just as much time with the walk-ons as he does with the stars. He is a genuine person. I think the kids can sense that. And I think that it makes him an asset to this program because I think people want to play for a guy like that because I think that too often nowadays, there's not enough of those guys out there. What well, our mission here is very simple. But number one for us is to graduate. And, uh, and uh, players understand that. And you have to get a young man a degree because it gives him a chance to be successful. Because when he has a degree, then it opens up so many doors for him. Because it's a small percentage gonna get a chance to go play on the next level. So it's critical for him to walk out of here with a degree. This is a great academic institution. So, and we have so much support, our academic uh, support is unbelievable. So it's no reason for a young man to walk out of here without a degree in his hand. USF is on a big stage. I don't want people to feel like we're just secluded to Tampa. Um, you know, we're everywhere. Um, everyone's watching. When the lights are on, the lights are on, and, and really the things that you do now um, will follow you. They will follow you, and they'll continue to carry a lot of weight. You know, we're not the same team that was in the portables, you know, some 20 years ago. Um, we're continuing to grow and expand, and, you know, we've had some really dynamic people to come out of the school. This segment of Bull Strong Inside USF Football is presented by Wendy's. An autumn road trip to New England and the road has been a friend to the Bulls. They travel well. Those who wear helmets and those who tailgate. Go Bulls! Go Bulls! Go Bulls! Go Bulls! Go Bulls! The Minutemen were a first time opponent for the Bulls and it would be a matchup that would challenge USF and see them meet that challenge with a record setting performance. Get it done today. Get it done. 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 Get it done
The first meeting all time between the Minutemen and the Bulls, and USF will have good field position to start things out here at Amherst. It may have been a new stadium for the Bulls, but it didn't take long for their offense to make itself right at home. Blake Barnett is in the top 25 in all of FBS football in terms of throwing it. Throws it long, trying to get to McCants. He's got it, and McCants into the open field. This is a touchdown. Touchdown, USF. What a start for the Bulls. South Florida has one of the best turnover ratios in college football, but with the game tied at seven, they needed their defense to bail them out after losing a fumble of their own. UMass is celebrating like it's their football. Third down and eight for the Minutemen. Comis in trouble, grabbed. Kirk Livingstone, the junior, is the first one who got a hand on him. Livingstone's sack helped keep the field position in the Bulls' favor and started in motion another scoring drive that would get South Florida the lead back by the end of the first quarter. Kobe Weiss booted a 29-yard field goal to make it 10-7. Still, USF was feeling their way. They've been a great road team and had won 11 of their last 13 games played away from Tampa. They continued to hit hard, but fell behind 14 to 10 in the second quarter. About the time Jordan Cronkite started the roll. They run it to Cronkite. He breaks through and he's into the secondary. Jordan Cronkite has one man to beat. He cuts it back inside. He'll be out of bounds. Cronkite's 66 yard run got the Bulls back into Kobe Weiss range, and his second field goal pulled South Florida within 14 13. 143 to go, second quarter. Vincent Davis forced the fumble. Tony Greer recovered as special teams set the table. South Florida, first down. It took freshman Johnny Ford just one play to take it 19 yards for a Bulls lead that they would hold on to for the rest of the game. Here comes Ford untouched into the end zone. Johnny Ford, his first career touchdown, and USF is back in front. And the Bulls will probably now be content to go to the locker room with a lead here in Amherst, Massachusetts. Coaches can be most valuable at halftime where adjustments can turn a tight game into a rout. He gets the seam and he's into the secondary again. To the 30, to the 20. He's going to go all the way. 77 yards. The combination of the Bulls scintillating offense and their ball hawking defense proved to be lethal to UMass. Short, short drop, looking, looking, throws long, and this is picked off by Mike Hampton. The Bulls get the turnover. Five forced turnovers led to 28 South Florida points. Middle, and once again, Cockright breaks free and scores a touchdown on fourth and one, 30 yard score. The O line had reason to celebrate as they were controlling things as the Bulls were running with the flow now and would score four third quarter touchdowns, including two within 10 seconds. Hammered again, ball is free, picked up, and it's a touchdown for USF. Another big special teams play by Vincent Davis. It was all coming together, but especially for an offense that would rack up 574 yards. Here is Cronkite, and he's into the secondary again. Here he goes, Jordan Cronkite. He is now set a USF single game rushing record. Cronkite would finish with 302 rushing yards, setting school and conference records. But this would be a total team success story. The Bulls scored 31 unanswered points on their way to their second straight 5-0 start. Despite losing talent to graduation in the NFL, they have worked their way back into national prominence. The win propelling them back into both major top 25 polls, where they spent the entire season a year ago. Charlie Strong's team is now one of three from the American Conference that is ranked. Football, free football, and I think USF's got it. They do. USF is 11th in the country in turnover margin. It's difficult enough for opponents to stop their offense, but when the defense is regularly giving them good field position, the numbers pile up. Here is Ford, bounces off a defender. He's in the end zone. That's six for the ball.
The South Florida Bulls, one of 11 unbeaten teams in the country. We got a lot of speed. A lot of speed comes out of Florida. Extremely fast. We can all play with anybody in this country. With anybody in the country. We're hungry. We have a chip on our shoulder. Uh, we continue to go out there and fight each and every day. Hey, what's wrong with being the underdog? No matter what it takes, we, we just gonna try to win. That's what we're gonna come out there and do and just show the world. We can run with anybody. So now it's just a start, but we're gonna keep it going. It's time to you know put the lights on and, and start the show. Bull Strong Inside USF Football is presented by Coca-Cola. Hooters. Tampa General Hospital. USF Health. Florida Lottery. Wendy's. We got a lot of speed. A lot of speed comes out of Florida. Extremely fast. We can all play with anybody in this country. With anybody in the country. We're hungry. We have a chip on our shoulder. Uh, we continue to go out there and fight each and every day. Hey, what's wrong with being the underdog? No matter what it takes, we, we just gonna try to win. That's what we're gonna come out there and do and just show the world. We can run with anybody. So now it's just a start, but we're gonna keep it going. It's time to you know put the lights on and, and start the show. The mind is very important because what Coach Strong teaches us, he says like football's hard physically, but then when you go out into the job field, when you're not playing football anymore, you go out to the job field, life's gonna hit you even harder. Like it's all entirely a mental deal. Football's physical and it may put a toll on your body, but when it comes to life, it hits you even harder and it just it might sometimes it breaks people, but he's teaching us how to how to deal with it and how to come out of here a better man than we came in so that we can be prepared for life. The Bull Strong Inside USF Football Postgame Report is brought to you by USF Health. Just like the way our kids continue to battle, we were able to make some plays. We got to be able to run the ball, and that's what we're able to do. You know, Cronkite running for 300 yards is really big for us. And then uh, Johnny Ford has 77 yards rushing himself, so we just got to make sure that we, it's, it's a physical game. We got to win at the point of attack. We got to be able to move people. It was a great job to my offensive linemen. They did all the hard work. They made big holes. I saw it, and then I just went. They did a great job getting the push up front and getting moving. Credit to them. We just got to go out. We got to play smart. We had to be a disciplined football team. Getting five turnovers uh, on defense. We knew where the ball was going, but we needed to cover, and we needed to get off blocks and go rush the pass. It was a third and long, I knew they were trying to go deep. I got the deep ball, so I just baited him by taking on pressing, and I just saw the ball in there. But we, we got to improve, we got to get better, and this is a short week for us. Toss the second conference game for us. We're going to road there. We don't have much time, but we just got to make sure that we take care of our business. Jordan Cronkite with 302 rushing yards. Yeah, Cronkite, he, he has it figured out. I mean, what he does is he breaks the initial five-yard barrier between he and the line of scrimmage, and it's to the house. 77, 76, and 66 wow. in one game. That's just phenomenal. That's just phenomenal. I can't, I'm, I'm almost speechless. A foot race to the end zone. He is now set a USF single game rushing record. Bull Strong Inside USF Football is presented by Coca Cola, Hooters. Tampa General Hospital, USF Health, Florida Lottery, 
Wendy's.